Hey everyone, it's Mike from Orderflows and welcome to this uh, second video on the Orderflows Delta Surge. Now, you know, the Delta Surge is a free indicator that we give away on our website, orderflows.com, and it works on NinjaTrader 8. It doesn't work on TOS, it doesn't work on TradeStation. I use NinjaTrader 8, and that's why it was programmed for NinjaTrader 8. So it can be downloaded uh, simply by going to orderflows.com slash deltasurge.html. At the bottom of the page, you will have to enter your name and email address to get access to the download. Now, before I begin, you know, a brief disclaimer, you know, please understand that trading involves risk and only risk capital should be used for trading. So, you know, the Delta Surge, the reason I, I released it, um, you know, for free is because, you know, a lot of people say, hey, Mike, you know, I'm interested in trading with the order flow, but, you know, I, I don't know where to start. And, in order flow, there's a lot of different uh, data points, so to speak, right? Delta, you have point of control. Delta runs on the bottom. You have point of control. Um, you have imbalances. And the delta surge is actually uh, one of the ways that when I, I first started using order flow, you know, way back when, um, was it, it helped me understand, you know, when buying or selling in terms of, you know, the aggressive buyers or the aggressive sellers when they're you know sort of waking up and getting stronger and you know for for example here right this is wheat right i used to trade a lot of commodities that's how i ended up getting my job at jp morgan is because i was a commodity trader i spent you know many years at uh, cargill which is a big commodity trading company i spent years at uh, edf man and you know if you've ever traded commodities you know things like wheat or corn you know, beans is beans can move uh, pretty good, but you know some of the other commodities like you know palm oil and um, bean oil and soy meal. You'll understand what I'm talking about on sideways moving markets. So, for example, wheat. All right, wheat would you know wheat is a market. It oftentimes goes sideways, it makes a move, goes sideways, it makes a move. And what I would be looking for in the order flow is clues on okay, well which way. Are we going to do are we just going to keep going sideways or are we going to move lower we're we going to turn around and go higher and i would look at the delta and look for clues there so you know if you understand what delta is it's the net difference between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers aggressive buyers are those that buy at the market aggressive sellers are those that sell at the market you know when i say at the market you know they could be hitting the bid they could be sweeping through the book basically they're coming in they're being the aggressor in the market so if the delta is negative, right, the final delta here, you can see the top line delta minus 12, it tells me sellers are in control. Barely, it's only minus 12. There's only 12 more uh, aggressive sellers than aggressive buyers. The next bar is minus 75. It tells me in this bar there were 75 more aggressive sellers than aggressive buyers, minus 164. It's telling me there's 164 more aggressive sellers than aggressive buyers. So I know over these basically these four bars it went from aggressive buyers to aggressive sellers more aggressive sellers more aggressive sellers so i would know that aggressive sellers are you know over this period here aggressive sellers are in control okay now how would i use that is you know if i would be looking for weak points in the market okay in this case for sales i'd be looking for weak points in the market if it was a delta surge buy i'd be looking for signs of strength and you can see here, right, we're right here at the lows. So I'll be looking for, you know, more selling coming in, you know, at these lows. And so I can imagine, right, the initial low here is what, 541 and three quarters. <coughs> the market keeps going, selling off, selling off, selling off. 541 and three quarters. You see, here's another delta surge coming in. Another delta surge coming in. All the way down to the lows of the day down here at 529 so this market dropped you know from up here what it was trading um you know 541 and a half down to five down you know down to new lows on the close of the day right so there's a nice 10 cent drop in wheat now again you know what was the for me what was the early sign that this market was going to sell off was the delta surge the aggressive selling coming in pausing more aggressive selling coming in pausing right then 
I, I know that there's there's more aggressive selling going on than aggressive buying. So, you know, if we're at the lows of the day, aggressive selling coming in, it's got a it's got more opportunity to go lower unless there's obviously going to be signs of aggressive buying coming in. Now, it's a little bit different when you're looking at um, markets that aren't necessarily driven by supply and demand the way commodity markets are, right? The commodity markets, you know, are really more tied down to supply and demand than, say, um, equity markets, okay? So, like, for example, the E-minis, you know, there's a lot of speculative money going on in there. There's a lot of money that goes into those markets that never see commodities. And, you know, there's, I don't want to say it's it's not based on supply and demand, but it's it's more based on return on, on the money, right, than, than necessarily trading supply and demand. You know, you're not going to eat your stock certificates, but, you know, things like wheat go to delivery, physical delivery, you know, where, where ultimately producers make um, food out of it. So, you know, there, there's sort of a different dynamic that goes on with um, things like equities as as opposed to commodities. Now, you know, I sent the email out yesterday and, you know, people were saying, I I made a mistake. I accidentally put the gold chart in there twice. I was supposed to do a e-mini chart and a gold chart, but for some reason, um, I accidentally copy pasted posted both uh, the gold chart as both of them. But anyway, I did get a lot of questions about uh, how does it look on the micro charts, right? The micro E-minis or the micro NASDAQ. So let's just take a look. Okay, I'm just going to, this is the Delta Surge on the micro E-mini, the MES contract. Okay, I'm just going to go back. This is, um, what day is this here? This is the 20th, which is what, Monday night? Um, is this Monday night or Sunday night? Let me just see. Uh, well, yeah, it's starting on the 20th. Okay. So at uh, 5 p.m. So you can see there's some nice little cells coming in here. Okay. Nice little cells. Now, again, the Delta surge is not a tool that's supposed to pick every single market turning point based on the order flow. It's looking for expansion either to the st strong side or to the weak side, whether it's aggressive buyers or aggressive sellers coming into the market. And you know, you could see here, right? This is just in the evening session, right? There's a nice little sell here. There's a nice little sell here. This one, you know, it sort of came back before it dropped off. This one, it dropped off and then, you know, stopped out. Then here's a nice little sell here. Here's a nice little sell here. Nice little sell here. Okay, so just go back, you know, this is on now the 21st in the morning, early morning, going into the main session here. You know, there was nothing during this period. Okay, fine. But then you get the buy, you got the sell there. You got a late buy. Here's a sell. Did come up a bit. And then you got a nice buy here. This buy didn't work out. There was a nice sell up here. Now, you know, the difference with trading commodities and trading markets, you know, like equity markets for me is I'm not, you know, how to put it? Um, I'm not afraid to sell new highs or new lows in commodities because I know that underlying, you know, what's that force underlying is really supply and demand. I'm a little bit hesitant to buy new highs or sell new lows in equities just because sort of the market makeup is a bit different. So honestly, I would prefer to be taking sells up near highs, not buys near highs. I'd prefer, prefer to take buys sort of near swing lows in the equities that's that's me that's how i trade um in, in regards to equities you know here's uh again these are coming in near the low of the day again you know it's up to you there's still capacity for the market to go lower but how much lower can it go all right i prefer to take a signal like this you know coming off a swing high But this is the MES, you know, again, if you, sh you could short this going into the lows, but I think the better trade is to get long coming up off the lows. Just like here, I think this is a better trade to take than, um, you know, 
like this or this, you know, after you just had a nice rally, but you know, to each their own. So let's take a look at NASDAQ. You know, not everybody's going to trade the way I trade and, and I'm not going to trade the way you trade. You know, it's about finding your own trading style that resonates with you. Okay. Here's some nice little cells here. This was on the 20th going into the 21st. Again, I don't want to go into all these things. I just want to show you, you know, how it performed on these different micro contracts because you know, I, I did get a lot of people asking, how does it look on the micro contracts? Now, again, you know, the settings, you, know, you can change the settings. I'll just talk about that really quick in a minute. So that's that. Okay. So you can see here, right? The settings. The ones that you're really going to be concerned with is this bar minimum, bar D, delta difference, bar C, minimum delta difference. It's default is set to 25 and 25. You could change it. Say it's in percentage. Um, I have to really open this up so you can see here. See in percent. So you know you could even use you know you know one percent. Okay. Say you want just an incremental change sort of the, the smallest change that you can get, you, you set it to one. Not that it's going to make that big a difference, but you know, if you set it to say one, it's probably going to give you a few more signals. The I prefer 25 and 50, that's me. But again, you got to decide on, on what the increase in Delta that you want to be. You can see it's, it's not giving that many more signals, but it's giving a few more signals. You know, and again, you know, with more signals, you got to realize there's going to be more trades. You know, some people like to have a lot of trades. So I'd suggest you set it to the minimum. So, you know, again, you know, anyway, it's a free indicator. Go to orderflows.com slash delta surge.html. You don't have to send me your machine ID, nothing. Um, you know, you just, you just install it as you would any other Ninja script add-on. And, you know, just make sure you got tick replay enabled. And, you know, go from there, right? And just make sure, you know, if if you pull up a chart, okay, for example, you know, some people scale their charts differently. You know, if your chart is, you know, a very big chart like this, right? And you don't see anything, you know, scroll to the left. Look, look in the past, right? You can see, you know, I just have it scrunched up so you can see things uh, a lot clearer, but, and you can see you got some nice little moves here and here. What was I looking at? You know, again, some nice moves. And this is in the, um, you know, if, if you trade around the clock, you can see there's opportunities in the evening session as, as well as the day session. So anyway, guys, I'll end it there. Um, again, go to the website. You can see here, this is the uh, URL, orderflows.com slash Delta Surge. If you downloaded it before, please switch to the new version, um, which is this one. This is version 3.0.0.2, I believe. Um, but anyway, I've updated the website uh, last week. So if you've downloaded it in the last week, you have the correct version. If you downloaded it in last year, um, please, re, uh, please go back and uh, get the new version. So thanks everyone, have a great day.